another YouTube video if you're new. My name is Lauren. I am getting ready right now. We're about to head to South Florida for the day, just the day. We're not going to stay the night or anything, but by the time this video goes up, I'm sure they will have announced it. Our two friends, Sean and Sam, are expecting their first baby, which is so exciting. So we're going down for the gender reveal to find out if it's a boy or a girl. We actually found out the weekend of Rosemary Beach when we got engaged. So it was just such an extra special weekend. We got engaged. We found out they were expecting their first child and then everyone was together for an incredible friends trip. So it was just a really great weekend. So we're so excited for them and I can't wait to find out if it's a boy or a girl. I'm so excited. Hopefully within the next six months or so, they actually move to Orlando. I can't wait to have them here. I just love and cherish our friendship with them so much. They're the best people. Our whole group of friends is really just the best but um, I'm so excited for them so that's where we're going today and I'm gonna do my hair and makeup and right now I'm actually uploading the Italy part 2 vlog they took me so long to edit um, over 12 hours for each vlog I think it was just a mix of the music trying to find music that fits kind of the Italian vibe was really hard for me so it was a lot of going through music there was a ton of clips. It was over the course of a week. There was over 300 clips, individual clips that I combined together and um, just trying to get the intro right, re-watching it. It's a 30 minute vlog. So it just took me a really long time. And I also did itineraries for both of them. So I listed everything we did each day and where we went and some little tips and my opinions, things like that below the video. And I linked everything that I could link that I was wearing or mentioned, things like that. So it just took a lot of time and I just love the whole editing process of YouTube. It's just so fun for me. So it doesn't even matter how long videos take. I just love the whole process. It's expressing myself, it's being creative. It just takes time and I look back on them and I'm just like, I don't know, I just love my YouTube channel and even if no one watched or saw the videos I would still be posting because I love the whole process of everything so I took a lot of time and care when creating those videos so I hope you guys enjoyed them and um, if you are planning a trip to Italy definitely check the description for some places maybe you want to add to your itinerary so i'm doing that right now i'm watching it through just to make sure everything flows i watch it through before i export it from final cut pro which is what i use and then i re-watch it again once it's uploaded on youtube just to make sure it's all good to go so when it's 30 minutes it just takes some time because obviously the video is 30 minutes you gotta watch it so that's what i'm doing right now i'm gonna post it this morning and now the italy vlogs are done and uploaded but i'm doing my skincare right now i just obviously wash my hair and um have been loving the hair care products that i shared in my last vlog i just love them i linked it in the last vlog if you want to check it out and I'm currently about to use some new skincare. I placed a small order at Road. I got their glazing milk, and then I also got the new peptide lip treatment, which they redid their packaging. I'm so happy about it because if you have this in like a purse or like in your car, which is where I keep a lot of them, they start to fall apart and get like really dirty. I have an unopened one. That has their old packaging so basically their old packaging which is this one this part would get so dirty and gross and start to peel off and then this one is like a shiny plastic fabric fabric a shiny plastic um container so it's just a lot better and i really think that they changed the consistency of the product because I really like it. It's the strawberry one and this one's just the watermelon. I don't know if they've updated all of their packaging because I haven't ordered their original lip treatments. I like the new packaging a lot better. So I wanted to try the glazing milk and see if I like it. I mean, I've heard like a lot of good reviews. Do I need to shake it? Um, I'm also going to wet my face 
Oh my gosh. When we went to Arianzo Beach Club, they gave us Evian facial sprays when we were there. So they gave two of them. Christian didn't want his, obviously. So he gave them to me and I love them. Such a treat. So it just dampens your face before products and it's best to work on a damp face when applying anything that has hyaluronic acid in it. Yeah, it is definitely like milky looking. I might have used too much. Kind of smells like, this is such a unique pinpoint of a smell, but it smells like a doll, like a baby doll, like the plastic of the baby doll. That's like such a weird pinpoint. That's what I smell. It's not like terrible. It's just unique, but made my skin very dewy looking, which I love. Um, I have like combination skin now since doing Accutane. So I'd rather be like dewy than dry. Now being on that side, I used to be oily. Like I have to blot my face multiple times a day. Now it's more combination. And now being on this side of how my skin is, I'd rather it be dewy and glowy looking than dry. So that's what I did for the first step in my skincare. It does have hyaluronic acid in it, but I'm still going to go in with my Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid. I don't know if I've shared that I've been using this. Um, I switched from this from The Ordinary. I have a little bit of The Ordinary one left, but I switched to this and I like their roughly around the same price this is very affordable i like this one better than the ordinary and it's a bigger bottle i've been using the ilia eye cream but work has been crazy um absolutely crazy i just caught my breath from getting back into town if you missed my vlog before italy Basically, my engagement weekend in Rosemary, I came back to work to my coworker quitting abruptly, and I had to step into a new role very quickly in investments, which is a lot. You're handling people's money. It's a lot to learn. You're opening up tons. There's so many different types of investment accounts, and there's different processes for the applications. It is so much and there's so many extra forms things that you need to do a lot of steps a lot of stuff a lot of brain power just a lot to remember and it was very overwhelming i had to do my role and the new role up until this past monday so really only two and a half weeks that I had to do it with just me and the advisor that I work under, but it was still just a lot. And I went out of town for two and a half weeks, came back. I had so many emails. Um, I was trying to figure out what was done and what wasn't. I was trying to remember everything that I learned from when I left. It was just a lot. Um, it still is, but yesterday after, so I got back last week on Tuesday, it was my first day and I worked obviously four days and then I worked five days this week. So this was like my first full week since being back. And yesterday, Friday was the first day since taking on this new role that I've actually been like okay and I know what's going on and I have a solid to-do list and it's not written on 15 different pieces of paper diagonal front and back just I know what's going on I know what I've done and I just feel like I have my thoughts together now and I'm way more organized so it took me a little bit to get this organized but I finally feel like I can exhale I feel like I was in fight or flight the whole entire last two weeks since I got back just stress like almost like time was moving so quick and I had no idea what I did in the amount of time there wasn't enough hours in the work day it was just a lot and I was trying to delegate tasks to the new girl we had a new girl start on Monday and she's been great but it's hard to delegate certain tasks when she doesn't know how to do everything so I'm having to take time to train her, help her answer her questions, which is obviously a priority, but I also have a workload of my own. So it's just been a lot to juggle, but I finally feel like, okay, know my to-do list. I know where to start. I know just the process 
or the basics of the process. So I didn't mean to make this vlog so chatty in the beginning, but I feel like there's just a lot that I've had to update on. And this is exactly what I wanted. Like I wanted to move into investments or at least learn that. I feel like it's something great to learn and evolve into. I never pictured this for myself. I mean, if you told me like a couple years ago that I'd be working in investments and wealth management and doing these things, I don't think I would have believed you. I would have been like, why would I do that? But it's, it's been great. I have been learning so much and it's so valuable to know these things. So I eventually wanted to move into this in my job within my career, but not so quick. You know what I mean? Like I want it to be a slow process, start with cross training, do one here or there, like a vestment application and stick with kind of life insurance. But um, I think the new girl is going to be taking on all the life insurance things, which I just fully learned, which is fine. <laughs> and um, at least I'm like able to help and answer questions and also help out if she were to take vacation or need some extra help. So all positives here. It has just been, my work life has been so consuming of me and very draining recently. It's all part of the process. I am gonna look back and be so grateful that I did it and yeah. So that's like a work life update. Just have a new role in investments and I didn't go to college for any of this stuff. It's all just finding a position and getting into it and learning from there. It's kind of crazy. You really don't know how your life is going to plan out and which direction it's going to go and I'm just trying to trust the process and be grateful for all the opportunities that I have. Anyways, um, I'm gonna finish watching this vlog so I can get it posted and start getting ready so we can head out. I'm gonna try and cook breakfast before we leave, but this was like a really long chatty intro, but I feel like I had a lot to say, a lot to catch up on or catch you guys up on. Anyways, I'm gonna finish getting ready, upload my video, and I'm gonna head to South Florida. I haven't talked to the camera today yet. It is so rainy. Let me start my car. It's so rainy and gloomy here in Orlando, um, which is like adding to me being tired. The drive, I don't know what it is about road trips. 
especially when you do like a three and a half hour road trip like there and back so seven hours of driving in a day it wears you out so i'm like a little bit tired and then the weather so it just makes me feel like extra tired let me just turn off my so they don't annoy okay so i have something so exciting to share i well i mean is this exciting i just booked a wedding planner so i decided to go with a full wedding planner instead of like a partial or like a little small snippet of i know there's well at least the wedding planner that i'm working with she has like three tiers so she has like month of the wedding kind of help and then she has partial planning and then full planning so i went ahead and did full planning um i just feel like it was best for me so i could be present in all aspects of my life my job is very important to me and obviously planning the wedding is super important to me and my friendships and my relationships and my free time and working out and just time for myself is super important to me and it would be very hard for me to be present in all of those aspects of my life with planning a wedding so i went with a full wedding planner my dad's 80, 80 he's turning 81 actually in two weeks from tomorrow so he just doesn't care to help my mom is obviously not around and i wish she was especially for stuff like this um she would have loved planning this and helping and participating she would have absolutely loved it and i've been like so emotional since am i like gonna start crying i don't know um i've been so emotional since getting engaged going through these different phases of life maybe i'm just like overwhelmed with like all of the life changes that i've had like getting engaged in my work life because those are two big parts of my life my relationship and my job are so they're huge parts and i think it's just been a lot that i've just been experiencing and i had a feeling my engagement was coming before it came i just like had a feeling christian and i never looked at rings or like did any of that stuff um i'm gonna do a q a so i'm gonna film a q a and i'll like go into like more detail of everything but I had a feeling it was coming just because I knew it was probably coming on like a trip or something and I was so emotional leading up to the point because I was just so sad not because it was happening but because my mom wasn't here to like be with me or she would have just loved this stuff I don't know why I'm getting upset it's like September was the month while I was in Italy. It actually was the anniversary of her passing. So I think it's just um, a lot of a lot of emotions, a lot of really big highs in my life, and just like the anniversary of her passing. I think when you experience like a loss like that, your body remembers um, pain, and I think I've just been so emotional the past. I don't know I want to say since the beginning of August but it like makes sense because that's when a lot of things were going like downhill with our health and everything so I've just been really emotional like so I've been so happy but like it's almost like something's missing I haven't really talked about it at all and it's not like a pity me thing it has been years since she passed but it's like it never goes away like it I didn't expect to cry. Okay, I'm gonna try and pull myself together. I didn't expect to cry. It's just like, I'm like realizing that I'm like planning a wedding and it's so exciting and I can't wait. And I think it's just bringing up um, a lot of pain. I just think this is like a big monumental moment and it's crazy how, it's not the little moments. I wish she was here for all the moments, but like, the big moments are the moments that I knew these waves of emotions would come up for. So I'm so excited to be planning a wedding. I booked a wedding planner. I'm so happy. But my emotions have been all over the place because I just wish she was here for these moments. And um, coming up on these moments is what makes it hard to like reprocess 
everything and I just never really goes away how much you like miss them and um, family is so important to me because they're what you have I mean loved ones is they are who you have and just sometimes is hard with these big moments to like not miss her just been a lot of emotions lately just getting engaged her anniversary of the passing planning a wedding just starting the process and um yeah i mean it comes with with life and um i've just been very emotional lately just realizing that this is like this is just a big moment that i begged her to be here for so <sighs> it's okay i've been so chatty this vlog too and i'm sorry that i literally just cried but it's hard because i don't know it's just hard it's been rough um but positive i booked a wedding planner she is great i had a phone call with her on thursday and i'm just really excited to plan this process with her and to have that guidance and help and support system from someone that knows what they're doing so i'm just grateful to have started this process we're planning a wedding which is so exciting and crazy and i think that's why I just my emotions are all over the place just been living such a high of everything and there's been just a lot of changes and just the anniversary of her death makes my emotions all over the place i haven't really touched on it but i have been very very emotional i would just like randomly start crying because it just like hits you and yeah hug your loved ones even if you don't have parents or a mom or a dad just like hug your friends keep your loved ones so close it's the best thing in this life that we get is to experience like love and loved ones and friendships and family and family doesn't have to be blood so i'm just grateful for everyone that i do have and my friends and my family that i do have that are my support system for these big moments so and i'm grateful to obviously have my dad um but he's a dad he just doesn't want to help plan a wedding <laughs> or do any of the the stuff so that's the update i'm excited to have a wedding planner and start touring some venues and just dip our toes in the beginning process of planning this wedding so um i'll have a q a coming soon i'm probably gonna film it next week answering some like questions i asked over my instagram yesterday so I'll do a Q&A on everything. Anyways, I'm gonna go back home, compile a grocery list, head back out, go to the grocery store, and start meal prepping. And we're gonna have a great rest of the Sunday. So, sorry for crying. Sorry for getting emotional. Um, so many good things, so many good things are going on. So, I'm happy. I just got home from the grocery store and I'm gonna start meal prepping. I'm gonna do egg roll in a bowl for meal prep this week over some jasmine rice. I've never made it before, so I'm hoping it's good for meal prep. I got the pre-packaged coleslaw mix because I thought this would be the easiest way to go. And then I got an extra bag of carrots just to add to it because there wasn't many carrots in here, so. I doubled the recipe, but I'll link it down below. It's onion, coleslaw, this. I'm doing bone broth instead of regular broth, just for some added protein and benefits. You also need to make sure that you're using pure sesame oil, not the toasted version. Powdered ginger. This is this week's meal prep. I've been really trying to switch it up since getting back into working and meal prepping and everything. We just have gotten so sick of the meal preps that I've been doing. So I'm ready to switch it up. So we're gonna try this out this week. I'm gonna start meal prepping. I have um, the ground turkey thawed and it's all one pan. So you cook this all in one pan, but I'll link the recipe down below. Okay, I just finished prepping everything. Here are Christians. I did mine with cauliflower rice. It looks 
it doesn't look good but i tasted it and it's really good so i'm excited to have a little switch up for a meal prep and then i just cut up some green onion that way we can sprinkle it on throughout the week i'm gonna clean up the kitchen i'm happy to be done you need a big pot if you're cooking twice the amount i doubled the recipe so i needed a really big pot so i had to transfer it over to a different pot halfway through cooking it because i realized not everything was gonna fit this is meal prep for the week <laughs> 